Hello everyone, I'm back with another non-parametric test. In this video, we're going to learn about Wilcoxon signed rank test and how to run that in SPSS. The Wilcoxon signed rank test is the non-parametric version of um, dependent t-test or paired sample t-test. Um, as the Wilcoxon signed rank test does not measure normality in the data, it can be used when this assumption has been violated and use of paired sample t-test is in inappropriate. Uh, Wilcoxon signed rank test is used when we want to compare two sets of scores that come from the same um, sample population. Um, for example, we, when we want to investigate any changes in scores from one point of time to another, or when participants involved with more than one condition. Um, today, we're going to see and study the effectiveness of a new medication designed to reduce repetitive behaviors in children affected with um, autism. Um, a total number of children with autism involved in this study and the amount of time that each child is engaged in um, repetitive behavior during two hours observation period are measured both before treatment and then um, after taking the new medication for a period of one week. Um, here, the dependent sample t-test cannot be used as the distribution does not ap uh, approximate a normal distribution. And also, both measurements are not independent from each other and therefore the man with new test is um, cannot be used um, your dependent variable here would be the time of doing repetitive behavior and your two um, related groups are before and after taking the medication we need to have two variables representing the before and after measurements um, but before doing the tests, as when doing every test, uh, we need to check assumptions to see whether they're violated or not. Um, here, three assumptions uh, need to be checked. Uh, number one, dependent variables should be measured at the ordinal or continuous level, uh, which here are continuous. And Assumption number two is that the independent variable should consist of two categorical related groups or matched pairs. Um, related groups means that the same subjects are presented in both groups, uh, but are measured on two occasions um, on the same dependent variable. And finally, assumption three says that the distribution of the differences between the two related groups need to be symmetrical in shape. In order to test the assumption of symmetrical distribution, we need to create a third variable based on these two variables. So to do that, uh, we go to transform and compute variable and now um, you can name this target variable whatever you want um, let's call it difference here and drag before into the numer numeric expression box and then type minus using this calculator and then drag after into this box and then OK. So uh, you can see um, it's gonna create the new variable and this variable is the variable that we are going to test that its distribution is symmetrical. So to do that, go to graphs and um, build chart and now uh, I, I'll choose box plot and then from these, these three kinds I choose um, one dimensional box plot 
and drag to this area and put difference variable into x axis place and then click on OK. So um, here in the result, the, the area above the median line um, should be symmetrical with the area below the median line. And as you can see, which here, um, they are almost the same. Uh, so we're good to go, go to do the test. And to do the test, uh, go and click on Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests, and Legacy Dialogues, and then two repeated samples. And so on this window that is shown as two repeated samples tests, um, to, to transfer variables into test pairs, you can transfer them uh, in any order that you want, it doesn't matter. And then click on options. And now um, check the descriptive and then continue and then OK. So, um, the first table is about descriptive statistics. Uh, you can see mean standard deviation, the mean and the max values uh, for, for before and after results. And in the next table, we have ranks. You can see we have six negative ranks to positive ranks and zero ties. Um, negative ranks means that post treat or after variable is less than pre test or before variable. And positive is when after is greater than before, and ties is when they are equal. So here, uh, where hope for the medication was effective. Uh, so we would have mostly negative ranks and when after test result is less than before test result uh, as you, as I as I just explained and six negative ranks out of eight ranks move down to test the statistics table and looking for p-value uh, which is 0 0.035 which is less than 0 0.05 so we would reject the null hypothesis that the median differences between pairs of observations are equal and quite opposite the paired sample t-tests uh, when uh, when uh, evaluating their results and having the assumption and hypothesis uh, we have results about the mean. Um, anyway, um, I hope you find this video to be helpful. And if you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.